But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, all you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. What? You know what I'm saying? What? I'll get fuck who, cause you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks cause you did a deal, you fucking fed. Always been a snake type of dude. So it's not surprising that when you hear all types of crazy stuff coming out now. There has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true. Cause P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. And Diddy been doing this for a real long time, bro. He been doing this for a long time. And now another artist. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw You're it. a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell know? no. Puff Daddy went through a really sad time when his ex-wife, Kimberly Porter, passed away in November 2018. She was found dead at home because of pneumonia complications. This surprised many people, and some in the media wondered if something suspicious happened, like foul play or neglect. However, authorities said her death was natural, giving a bit of closure. But if you hear from those close to P. Diddy, they believe Kim's death wasn't natural, they think someone wanted her gone. Before she died, Kim was working on a book, and what's strange is that many people around Diddy, especially from Uptown Records, also died while working on their books. It's a sad and mysterious situation. Heavy D was found dead face down in the heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And then right after that, Al had a meeting and I was gonna meet up with him because we were in Vegas and then the next thing you know, You want to know what they all had in common, though? The survivors and the, and, and the late of Uptown Records, they were all writing tell-all books. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And Al B. Shore was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? <laughs> he must be the luckiest <laughs> motherfucker because it seems like everybody that worked at Uptown Records from the very beginning is all gone. In November 2023, the singer Cassie took her ex-partner Sean Combs to court, saying he treated her really badly during their relationship. She claimed he hurt her physically and did things of a sexual nature that were wrong. Combs quickly settled the lawsuit the next day for an unknown amount of money. After that, more people accused Combs of doing harmful things, like mistreating them and even involvement in trafficking. In a surprising twist, rapper Young Miami revealed that she's also a victim of Combs' actions. Diddy, the music mogul, is facing serious accusations of sexual misconduct and abuse. A member of the City Girls, who dated him for a few months in 2022, spoke out on social media after Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy became news. Young Miami said she couldn't stay silent anymore and needed to share her truth. According to her, Diddy made her feel worthless without him, forced her to do things she didn't want to, made her lie to her family and friends, and caused her to lose herself. She clarified that she's not doing it for money or fame, but for herself and all the other women hurt by him. Young Miami wants to expose him for being a monster, a predator, and a coward. Several others have also come forward with allegations against Diddy. In February, his former producer and videographer filed a federal lawsuit, accusing Diddy of sexual harassment, drugging, and threats. Jones says he went through a lot of unwanted and inappropriate behavior from Mr. Combs. We shouldn't forget what Justin Bieber and Usher experienced while working with Diddy, who is seen as a predator. Even though Justin Bieber and Usher haven't officially spoken out against Puffy, there are rumors that they want nothing to do with him. People thought Usher might reveal things about Diddy in an interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay, but it seems like he's afraid to speak up. When Howard asked Usher if he would let his kids be around Diddy, Usher simply said he would never allow that. Mood. 
to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. What were you I seeing? went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh, You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> yeah. Hell no. If Diddy is really such a good person, as he said, Says, why won't he let his kids be around him? The answer is simple, Diddy knows he's a bad person. His life is full of lies, and sometimes he accidentally reveals the truth without realizing it. When people like 50 Cent talk about him possibly being gay, it's not a new or secret idea. Diddy has been showing us that he might not be straight from the beginning. That's why seeing a man of God like T.D. Jakes with him makes me feel differently about the preacher. If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. Yeah, I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, when you put my bed Daddy, in. I like when you when you scrambling and scraping. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. Say something fabulous and he goes, yo, <laughs> no, we no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like we need to party. <laughs> no, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo. What is he talking about? Instant has gone off. When it's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, a at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, f what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> I was coming off of being in Miami a night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play. Look, hey, yo, listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, in. I like when you, oh, when you right scrambling here, right and here. scraping no, for no, no, no. shit. That was you scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said I like when you do it like that, Daddy. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> In the 1990s, there was a big feud between East Coast and West Coast hip-hop, and it sadly led to the deaths of two famous rappers. Puff Daddy was connected to Notorious B.I.G., who was killed in a drive-by shooting in 1997. Tupac Shocker's murder in 1996 also shocked the music world. Some people started saying Puff Daddy might be involved in both deaths, but there's no solid proof. These rumors have stuck around for years, and even recent confessions by Keith D haven't put them to rest. You could say anything to Puffy after everything you did for him. What would you say to him? I'm still here, bro. Still waiting. A lot of you don't know about this because it's been hidden. All this is fake. Everything's been hidden. Everything that you know is a lie. I swear we'll repay you. I've been waiting on that repay for a long time, bro. Gene, you don't even say, man, god damn, we saved your ass a gang of times. Didn't he say that? Yeah, I think I record him saying that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he should give Keefy some. Puffy, who thought he was untouchable, might actually go to jail for something he never expected. A bunch of people already suspected Puffy had something to do with Tupac's murder, but there wasn't any proof.